Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unbox and swatch of some brand new products that just launched at CVS stores and CVS.com. The brand is called Joa and it's owned by Kiss Cosmetics and it stands for I like it in Korean. So everything is KBD inspired and everything is also priced between $2.99 and $15.99, making it a really affordable brand. So I've been getting a lot of questions on this brand in general as you guys have been spotting it in stores near you. So I thought I would do a quick unbox and swatch and just let you guys see the products up close and see everything swatched before I go ahead and do my review which will be coming up once I've had a chance to test everything out so without further ado let's get started so the first product is the glow activator radiance primer this is $9.99 and it's described as a hydrating all-purpose primer that creates a flawless canvas for makeup application and adds a radiant lit from within glow so you can see that inside the formula there are these little gold flecks and on the skin they don't show up that much um, it's not like one of those primers that has shimmer in it that you can really see on the skin the flecks almost completely disappear and it has a very hydrating slick feel to it very similar to the Smashbox photo finish primer um, this one in addition to silicones actually includes macadamia seed oil apple seed oil olive fruit oil and jojoba seed oil so it's a very very hydrating primer I think it's going to be great on my dry skin Next up is the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop. This is $8.99 and comes in eight shades. It says that it's a lightweight, multi-use foundation that hydrates, brightens, and smooths the skin, plus it's blendable, buildable, and has a sheer natural finish. So it comes in a glass bottle with a dropper. This is the shade Ivory and it's an extremely thin liquid foundation. And I've used this once on my skin already, so I can to speak a little bit about how it applies. I think it's about medium coverage and unlike other serum foundations that I've tried in the past, this one doesn't have a really powdery finish to it. It actually has an extremely skin-like finish. It disappears right into the skin. It's absolutely beautiful. As I said, I've only worn it once. I found that it was pretty long lasting and it covered most of the imperfections that I wanted it to cover. Um, and it's definitely buildable as well. I didn't find that it got cakey if I wanted to add a second layer, but it's just super thin and lightweight and disappears right into the skin. So I'm really, really excited about this foundation. I just want to give it a little bit more time before I can give it a true review, but um, just a first impression. I think it's really, really nice. And then the next product is the Selfie Ready Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. It also comes in a peach shade and a banana shade, and this is $8.99, and the description says that it's a lightweight translucent powder in a non drying breathable formula that leaves the skin soft and youthful looking and controls the production of skin oils for a matte finish so I'm not normally a fan of setting powders because they tend to make my dry skin look even drier um, but let's see how this one applies so it's definitely sinking right into my skin and disappearing completely, which is what I would look for if I were to use a powder. It doesn't feel cakey on my skin. It doesn't feel overly dry. It actually um, contains silica as the first ingredient, followed by talc and dimethicone. So it does have a very smooth feel and it doesn't look chalky on my skin. So that's a good sign. I'm definitely gonna try this out and do a review for you guys. But um, first impression wise, so far it feels pretty nice. All right, so next let's talk eyeshadow palettes, and these are the birthday suit palettes. They come in the shades Unveiled and Bare. So first, I'll go ahead and swatch Unveiled, which is more of a neutral palette. It has your basic browns in here. There's a golden shade. Um, the description says six long-lasting shadows that don't need a primer, golden mattes and shimmers that will make your eyes stand out from day to night. So let's go ahead and swatch this. I can't wait to see what the formula is like. I haven't tried these yet. All right, so the first shade is Whipped Cream. And this is that ivory shade. It actually isn't a matte. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. It feels very, very soft to the touch as well. And then this is the shade Good Vibes. These are going on really beautifully, very buttery feeling. This is the shade Pleased. Again, very smooth, very buttery, not chunky at all. This is the shade Cappuccino, which is a matte. That also goes on extremely smoothly, very soft. That's gonna be a really pretty transition shade. And then we have Upbeat, which is another shimmer. I can't get over how smooth these are. They're really, really beautiful. 
And then this is the shade Evil, which is a matte, but it has little glitter particles inside the formula. So it's one of those shades where it's not a shimmer, but it does have the glitter. So it applies a little bit on the shimmery side, but you really can't even see it because the glitter is so fine. And then the next palette is Bare, and this one has more of sort of a berry pink tone to it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so the first shade in this palette is Bubbly, and this is a matte ivory shade. And then next is Baby Doll. Just a really pretty pink shimmer. Next shade is Rose. That's just the most gorgeous rose gold. And again, just so smooth. And then Night Out is a beautiful cranberry shimmer. And then this one is just $3 signs for the name. So I don't know, money? <laughs> I guess that's what it's called. And then the last shade Birkin is like a berry brown. And this one is a matte shade as well. The next product is the Be My Everything Blush and Bronze Palette. This is $13.99 and comes in two shades, Sunrise and Sunset. Unfortunately, I don't have the Sunset shade. They did send me two of the Sunrise, so it was probably by accident. I'm going to put that one in the giveaway pile for you guys, and if I'm able to find Sunset in store, I will definitely pick that up and include it when I do my review. Um, so this basically has a highlighter, bronzer, and blush in one, and the description says, here's the bright way to take on a powder a multitasker's dream it brightens contours and adds a healthy glow highlight cheekbones brush blush on your cheeks finish with bronzer and you're radiant you can even blend the powders for an on-trend ombre effect so um, let me go ahead and I'll just swatch each shade individually and then I'll combine them and show you what that looks like in the end so the first shade in the palette is the highlighter, and this is a really beautiful pink shade. I think it'll go nicely on fair skin tones like mine. It's very, very smooth and not chunky at all, which I really love because I'm not a fan of super glittery highlights. And then here's the blush shade, which is a really gorgeous light pink. Again, I think it's perfect for skin tones like mine, and it does have a little bit of radiance to it, but it's certainly not glittery or shimmery at all. I think this is gonna look gorgeous on the cheeks. And then last but not least is the bronzer, and this one actually applies a little more matte than the other two, even though it's in that same compact. The powder seems to go more matte towards this end. It does have just a hint of maybe like a satiny finish to it, but it's not as radiant as these two are. So it kind of starts out the most radiant and then goes down from there. I think this is a beautiful warm color that's not too orange. It's really, really nice on my skin tones. And then this is what all of the colors look like swirled together. And I am loving like this really pinky bronze color and it just has that gorgeous glow to it. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to just wear this as a blush on my cheeks. It's so pretty. And then next up are the Be My Everything highlighter palettes. These come in two shades, light and medium. So this is what the light one looks like. And then here's the medium. So I'll go ahead and swatch these side by side so you can see a comparison. The description says, here's how you glow. Three shimmery highlighters impart a healthy highlight in all the right places. Use one weightless finely milled powder highlighter at a time or blend them to accentuate your cheekbones. Define your brow bone and glow, glow, glow. So the first shade in the light palette is Diamond Dust. Next shade in the light palette is Iridescent. And then the third shade is Glam, which is more of a golden shade. And then in the medium highlight palette, we have the shade Pearl. Next is Sunbeam. And the third shade is Champagne. These are all extremely shiny. So, so pretty. Next are the Be My Everything Powder Contour Palettes. These are $13.99 each and come in two shades, light and medium. And the description says, the Joa Powder Contour Palette provides contour you'll adore. Contour kit includes three neutral powder shades to sculpt your cheekbones, define your jaw, highlight your brow bone, and more. Includes an angled brush. So um, the brush actually feels pretty nice. It's not the softest brush in the world, but I mean, it definitely would do in a pinch, I think to apply contour I like how it's an angled brush so um, the size and the shape is really good for um, contouring your cheekbones or highlighting in certain areas so um, each one has a highlight a bronzer and a contour shade 
And just looking at the light one here, the bronze almost looks yellow like a banana powder and the contour looks more like a bronzer. It's not very cool toned. So I'm definitely gonna have to play with these a little bit on my face, but um, in the meantime, I'll just swatch them both for you side by side. First, let's do the light contour palette. This is the highlight shade. And then next is the bronzer. And as you can see, this is actually lighter than my skin tone, so um, definitely would not be a bronzer on me. And then here's the contour shade, and this is actually a lot warmer than a typical contour would be. Usually I go for more of a taupey grayish undertone, and this one is a lot warmer. And then here's the highlight shade in the medium contour palette. Here's the bronzer. And then here's the contour shade. So I don't know, what do you guys think of the colors in these palettes? I feel like they're just a little bit off from what they are labeled as, um, but definitely let me know your thoughts. And then the last base product before we move on to lips is the Be My Everything Cream Contour Palette. Um, this one is $15.99, which is the most expensive product in the line. And it says the whole shebang in one to accentuate your cheekbones, slim your nose, and define your face. Multitasking cream contour palette includes eight blendable shades to smooth, sculpt, brighten, and conceal, plus lavender, green, and peach color correctors. So overall, these feel very smooth, very creamy. They're easy to pick up. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of try to blend one in here a little bit. Um, they're on the thicker side and definitely very pigmented. So um, a little bit actually goes a long way with these. And I do like how this is blending into my skin. It's very seamless, um, not powdery or chalky looking at all, which is really nice. Just curious to see how the correctors blend out. I mean, this definitely gives some serious color correcting. I know sometimes color correctors are just very, very subtle. I've used green ones in the past that just sort of disappeared into my skin and didn't even really um, show their color or correct the redness at all. I'll definitely try this palette out on my face when I do my full review, just because, um, I don't know, I, I don't normally like products like this, but I'm kind of intrigued by it because I feel like it's really strong. So moving on to lip products, the first one is the Infinite Kiss Satin Liquid Lipstick, and these are $5.99 each. They come in 10 shades, and the description says, smooch it up from here to infinity, no touch-ups needed. With just one swipe, your lips will be full-blown beautiful. Um, so they come in the most adorable packaging with this little bow on top. Inside, um, it has a flat paddle applicator, which I really like better than the doe foot type. And they have a bit of a fruity floral scent to them, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I normally prefer either a vanilla scent or an unscented version, but I don't find it too strong or too overpowering, um, but just something to keep in mind. So even though I haven't tried these out on my lips yet, just from swatching them, I feel like they go on really richly pigmented. They're very smooth as well. They didn't go on patchy or streaky in a swatch at least. So I'm very hopeful that I'm gonna really like these a lot. Um, as the name suggests, they are more of a satin finish, so they don't seem to dry down to a flat matte, um, but that's actually okay with me. I'm not a huge fan of matte lipsticks that um, are drying, so 
I'm hoping that these don't feel drying on the lips. They did seem to leave a stain behind as I was trying to remove the swatches. It was very difficult. I had to use an oil cleanser to remove them. So um, fingers crossed that these are a nice long wearing option that's maybe not too dry. So next up are the I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick. These come in 10 shades and the description says, there's a new bay in town, long lasting lipstick with the lightness of a gel and the long wear of a velvety matte finish. So these have the slanted flat top instead of the traditional pointed lipstick bullet. And they also have that same scent that the satin lipsticks had where it's more of a floral fruity scent. Um, so just again, something to keep in mind if you're sensitive to scents in your lip products. So let's go ahead and look at some swatches. So the first shade is Sweet Cheeks. Next up is Honey. The next shade is Babe. This one is Darling. Next is Hubby. That's a really pretty one too. This shade is Sweetie. Next is Bow. This is Love Bug. Next up is Boothang. And the last shade is Sugar. So first impression, just from swatching, I think these go on very smoothly. They do drag a little bit, so they do feel sort of like a drier formula, um, which would make sense because they are supposed to be matte. I don't really get a sense of a gel from them per se, but um, they do go on non-streaky and they're very, very pigmented. And then the last product I'm going to show today is the What A Matte Matte Liquid Lipstick. These are $6.99 each and come in 10 shades. And the description says there's nothing flat about this matte. Get perfect lips with just one stroke with our highly pigmented liquid lipstick that dries fast and has a professional style angled tip applicator. So this is one of those types that it's a doe foot but then it has the little scoop here. And this also has that same fruity floral scent that their other lipsticks have. All right, so the first shade is Peanut Butter. Wow, that feels really velvety, almost like a mousse type of texture. The next shade is Cupcake. This one is Pink Smoothie. Next up is Roseberry. This one's called Sweet Tooth. This is Candy Apple. Next up is Red Bean. This shade is called Dragon Punch. And then Sangria. So as I mentioned, when I first started swatching them, they do seem to have a mousse-like texture. They glide on really easily. They're very pigmented in one swipe. Um, again, I don't see any patchiness or streakiness with most of the shades. This one does just a little bit on the end here, but overall, I think that they go on really smoothly. So I'm excited to see what these feel like and how long they wear. All right, guys, so that's everything I have from Joa. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. What products are you excited to try? Have you already seen this brand in stores at CVS? And if so, have you tried anything? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified of future videos. I upload several times a week. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.